A baby in Brazil was born with a tail. The devil put it there to try to trick us into believing in evolution. An emotional support duck ran the New York City Marathon wearing web sneakers and tape over its little duck nipples. An owl flew into a school where a mascot is an owl. It was shot on sight for not wearing a mask. A New Zealand woman was held hostage by a possum. Turns out it was a new breed of possum that doesn't play dead. It plays kill. Hey, Brian Lau is here. He got his present, so we're going to let him stay. And we are going to read some of the greatest Christian song lyrics ever written, then see if we can name that band. All this and more on... The B Weekly! All right, everyone, Brian Lau is in the house. Hi, guys. Let's do some brief Welcome, introductions. Brian. Who the heck is Brian Lau? Yeah, how'd you get here? Who let this guy in? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm a comic creator from Michigan, and I uh, was listening to Jason Brubaker one day. And found Another out a comic creator, yeah, and found out uh, Ethan Nicole and uh, Doug to Naple, and was uh, following him because I'm a Christian and trying to do good Christian art, and I loved what these guys are doing. Plus, I love G.K. Chesterton, so I was following you, G.K. Chesterton, for a while, and then um, had some contact. He wound up buying my book, Infernal City Firehouse, which is one of my books. I mentioned on Stuff That's Good. I also mentioned Brubaker's stuff on Stuff That's Good. So these are all stuff that's good coming back coming back to nothing, roost. Nothing but good stuff. But uh, Infernal City Firehouse is true stories uh, from real Detroit firefighters. You say you're and, a Christian, but as soon as I clicked on the link of your comic, it says, what the hell just happened? This guy is saying. <laughs> Look at that. There's a it's real word. life. Real, real yeah. people say that. Hell, hell is in the Bible, so okay. and, and <laughs> some serious what Christian stuff. Gethsemane? What the hell? We're we're journalists here. I have to call you out. So I, you know, I, I <laughs> might have a few non Christians in my book, so we'll see mm. how that goes. Uh, What's the staunch ambition? That's something you're working on. Yes, staunch ambition is what I started out doing. So it's okay. a sci fi sci fi oh, okay. supernatural, nice. and then. Um, when I was working on that sci-fi book, a firefighter was buying my uh, sci-fi book, saw a poster I did for the Detroit Fire Department, and he was frustrated that nobody does books about firefighters. So I took a break on Staunch Ambition in between issues uh, three and four. Got it. Okay. And then I did this. Uh, I felt called to do this firefighter book. And then I now I just finished issues four, which is a double size issue of Staunch Ambition and is now in a trade, which we'll see soon. But Awesome. Um, yeah, we'll put a bunch of pretty art up on the screen. Now that's how I was impressed when you sent me uh, Inferno City Firehouse. I was like, this is well written and well done art. I was, you know, you get people sending you stuff all the time. Yeah, and uh, imagine. Like, wow, this comments. is well done. <laughs> so, Just be aware uh, there's strong language like hell, like hell yeah. in there. There is a little bit of language in you, but uh, it's. I don't want gratuitous sex or violence, so it's it's uh, it's edgy, but it's not like gratuitous by any means. So. Hey, we got some uh, we got some comments from some followers, commenters. Oh, YouTube comment. Hey, we see you guys. Fitty commenting says the left certainly can meme. You just need to read five paragraphs. That's all. It's a good point. It's heavy reading yeah. memes. <laughs> AJ Carr says, "Whoa, this Alonzo dude. It's Alfonso." By the way, uh, Patrick keeps doing that. He keeps calling him Alonzo. <laughs> says he's scary smart. I'm terrified by all the smart stuff he's saying. Bring him back. And let him say more stuff. Seriously. Maybe sure. that's uh, Patrick's sock puppet account. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> what did Thomas, Thomas, uh, Thomas Arnold Cole. I'm glad Tim Horton's got a nod in the Canadian National Anthem. That's Kyle's. I think name. I slipped that in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> every time I go there, I'm amazed. They have, they have as many Tom, Tim Hortons as we have Starbucks. So oh. It's like on every corner. Hmm. So, hey, we've got a subscriber dare today. Oh, subscriber Ooh, nice. dare. Hey you, do you want to be woke? I know I do. I wake up every morning thinking I would really want to be woke. That's fantastic because I have a product that meets that exact need that you just articulated right then. It's a new book called The Babylon Bee Guide to Wokeness and it teaches you how to be woke. My entire life I've asked myself, how are these kids these days getting so woke? And I know that there's got to be an instruction book out there, but there isn't there until isn't. now. Now there is. Because this book teaches you how to be woke so you won't get canceled, so Twitter mobs won't come after you and ruin your life. You get to know how to choose your pronouns, your gender. Buy this book so that you won't get canceled. You can order it today. This is Subscriber Dare. 
And this dare is interesting because Kimberly says she will subscribe and she will buy our Babylon Bee Guide to Wokeness. So this is a double whammy. Okay, it's a double dare. If you accept the subscriber, double dare. Since you guys, like all Americans, obvious, obviously forgot that Anthony Fauci and Joe Biden are your personal physicians, I dare you to fire them. <laughs> Not because they didn't thoughtfully examine you in your medical history, because they totally did, you just forgot. Fire them because they're all mandating their treatments and medications. We should remember that doctors can't mandate. They can just recommend. Sincerely, Kimberly. Hmm. All how right, you, so how are we going to do I this? I didn't know we had the authority to do that, but I guess... I guess we need to do this like... We are a, the taxpayers. So we need to do this like a skit where we call him in. We, well, wait a minute. Can if you that found logic you? flows, then technically you guys work for me because mm. I'm a Babylon mm. B subscriber. Okay. Could I have a, the Friday after Thanksgiving off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Okay. So let's let's have uh, let's have Brian be Dr. Fauci. Oh, okay. To be, be a stand-in for him. Okay. And, Thanks. Um, <clears throat> and then Ethan and I will fire you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dr. Fauci, uh, would you come see me and Ethan in our office, please? Yeah, sure. Okay, we're walking. Let's go and close the door. Have a seat. We need the room. Clear the room, please. Yeah, can we clear the room? So you know that we um, appreciate everything that you've done around here. Um, I mean, you've been here, here, what, a couple of decades? Um, You put a lot of time in. A lot of beagles have had their faces eaten off. Yeah. You know, for science. I mean, and, and the Christmas party, uh, Marge's fruitcake was delightful. Um, and we love the bulletin board jokes you put up. Yeah. You always refill the coffee pot, which we appreciate. A lot of people don't do that. Yeah, it's, you don't leave the toilet paper roll empty. It's hard to find a time with all the shows I'm doing. So yeah. I appreciate it. good to be appreciated. So here's the thing. Yeah. What is it? Uh, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, well, we know the holidays are coming up, and this might be tough uh, to hear, but um, uh, we're, we're no longer going to need your your your, your services or, or around here. Um, we, we're going to wish you the best. Uh, we'll write any recommendations that you need. There's a strong uh, severance package. Yeah, you're fired. Yep. <laughs> What? I mean, I, I don't want to say it but that harsh, but... We just need to be clear because you're not going to collect unemployment or anything like that. You're like fired. It's, um, and it's not lot. you. It's really us. I mean, it's... Except, yeah, but, but it's, yeah. Except for it's the... All where, the where, where did it go wrong? Well, I mean, yeah, it started where, out, where, you, you were... Nothing yeah. but good stuff. You know, you're like, masks don't work, then masks yes. work, and then uh, the vaccine, you don't and need, and then the vaccine doesn't work as well, and then it is, you know... You were showing science. up... science. You're showing up late, you know, your, your, your co-workers I, were complaining about the breath, and then the whole, like, destroying the economy and ruining <laughs> everything. I like beagles. That was... I just feel you like beagles. I feel bad for the They're baby awesome. beagles. They're awesome. Beagles are the best to test. We, you were you were on the bubble. <laughs> They're the best best breed. You were on the bubble, but then when you tortured puppies, that pushed it over the it line. Did. That's, that's a lot of people. Gross. Yeah, had trouble with that. That's created a hostile work environment. Mm -hmm. Well, that's worse than abortion, torture, and puppies. Oh, we're supposed to fire Joe Biden too, oh, and yeah. also Joe Biden is also fired. Are you Joe Biden now? <laughs> but can you just God, let what can, are you guys doing to me can you grab let can you grab Joe, Joe on the way out on let, your, him know. <laughs> let him know can you drop this pink slot here's what we'll give you one box we're to just, put we're just not in. gonna tell him he won't know any difference okay. so. yeah all right we did it cool we did our fire. subscriber right. double dare all right fired all right Kimberly we'll be looking for your book purchase and your subscription we will hold you accountable Babylon B banger of the week banger of the week Kyle Rittenhouse asked to step outside and defend the courthouse while verdict is being read. Nice little Photoshop of Kyle Rittenhouse standing outside the courthouse. That was this awesome. Guy. This trial is insane, man. <laughs> I couldn't believe when I saw the prosecutor pointing the gun at the jury yeah. and his finger is <laughs> on, the, on trigger. the trigger. Like, oh my gosh. That's wild. I just, and and these are the guys like talking about his lack of gun safety, right? You know what they need to have yeah. is, uh, who's the guy who just shot someone uh, on set? Oh, Alec Baldwin? Alec Baldwin mm. play that guy in a re-dramatization, <laughs> oh, re you know, where he's like pointing it at everyone's ducking. And <laughs> <laughs> the jury in like a wave is just going down as you <laughs> Everybody's diving. We could have done a good skit with that. Yeah, I guess the la most recent thing is the defense asked for a mistrial, like while mm. the jury's <laughs> deliberating because the uh, prosecution withheld evidence now. And there's this whole, like, it's wild. And uh, this podcast comes out Friday, so there could be a verdict even by the time this comes out. 
And there's this thing on Facebook. You you search Kyle Rittenhouse on Facebook and it says we could not find anything. Huh? I tried it. Yeah. If you change the name to like Kitten House, all of a sudden it all comes up. Yeah, that's so, it's so weird. Kitten really house. weird. Just, yeah, I tried Kitten, Kitten house, house and it all came up, but it, it sounds like a charity. There's some Kitten weird house. thing where you, yeah. I was hoping to find some actual guy named Kitten, Kitten house, house, but I didn't find that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Babylon B bomb of the week. Mm. Bomb of the week. New regulations require that social media first be tested on monkeys. All right, Fauci. Three guesses. Who wrote this one? This is a Frank Fleming. Uh, Frank Fleming. <laughs> our, t- our top bomber. <laughs> our best and worst writer. And uh, I, I had to read this excerpt from the article. Okay. The, the monkeys have gotten all out of shape and shown massive deterioration of their mental health, said researcher Virginia Bowen. That's because instead of swinging through trees, the monkeys now spend all day screeching at a laptop. <laughs> On the other hand, they have developed some primitive meme skills. Bone showed off an image a monkey had made of a confused-looking monkey that had written on it in block letters, ee, ee, which maybe means something in monkey language. <laughs> so if you see a headline that looks like questionable, and it might be a Frank Fleming headline, read the article. Yeah, because it's really funny. It's always going to be good. <clears throat> there's nothing, yeah, there's nothing more funny than monkeys, especially monkeys, monkeys acting like humans. I mean, yeah. that's just fantastic. Well, I'm going to share that one after the show just right. because <laughs> I want to support it. <laughs> All right, let's do some weird news. This news is weird. <laughs> Newborn in Brazil was born with a human tail. This is a rare case. Is a human tail a real thing? As a baby boy's been born with a 12 centimeter yeah. long tail with a ball on the end. A ball tail. Oh, man. Mm. Wow. Do I want to click Not on this? Not a ball. Not a ball ball. Okay. <laughs> like, I assume like an orb. Not a, third, a spike ball. Not a third ball. <laughs> right, not a third ball. I don't know. <laughs> not a testicle. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to that would this. really be sensitive. Yeah, that was a picture, but <laughs> it's all be, fuzzy. I can't huh? tell. <laughs> so it's more of a, uh, like a, what, what, what has a tail like that? It's not a human tail. It's more like a human with a, like a, uh, oh, I can click what has this? a little nubby tail? Like one of those dogs. What yeah, like a dog with a nubby tail. I don't know. I'm trying to think of an animal with a nubby tail. There's a lot. I'm blanking out on nubby Hold tailed on. animals. A dinosaur. I know animal a dinosaur with a... nubby tail. I'm going oh, a turtle. To like a ninja turtle tail? Hmm. But, okay. <laughs> like Yeah, like a turtle tail. Yeah. A platypus. Yeah, it's like well, a little well, pokey. When a, when a human baby is like an embryo they, or a zygote or whatever, they have like the little tail, right? Right. And then it, like, like a little tadpole. And it like oh. goes yeah, back yeah. in the body with your tail. That's how they swim. And that's your tailbone. So it just didn't grow back. It didn't. And it didn't, never went back inside and it just kept growing. Hmm. So a little problem there. Crazy. So he's, is he destined to be a furry when he grows up? It could help if he ever has to jump away from bees into a pond full of piranhas to swim and faster. Could, yeah, I don't mm. no, Because the last time in Brazil that happened, that guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, call back. I call back. Him. The piranha guy. The piranha guy. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Prana guy. <laughs> oh, he died. <laughs> a woman pleads guilty after trying to have ex-husband killed through fake Rent a Hitman website. A, w- a Michigan woman used a fake website called Rent a Hitman <laughs> to try to solicit the murder of her former husband in 2020. Only in Michigan. <laughs> now, the Rent a Hitman domain was created as a cybersecurity test site. The website's owner contacted Michigan State Police, who reached out to the woman posing as someone from the website. <laughs> So she thought, so did she Google <laughs> Rent a Hitman? Like she just found this website and thought, oh, this looks legit. Wow. You can find anything on the internet. <laughs> did you guys pick this because I'm from Michigan? <laughs> yeah. What's the deal with Michigan? Uh, I don't know. Can anything good come from there? <laughs> no. An undercover detective met with the woman at a cafe where she said she wanted to have her ex murdered. She gave the detective his home address, work address, work schedule, and she said she would pay $5,000 for the murder. Seems like a good deal. And then gave him a two hundred dollar down payment. So once that money changed hands, what percentage is that? Guilty. That's a small down payment on five thousand dollars. It's like four percent. Wow, good. I'm bad at math. This is worse than the comedy uh, horrible boss where they go in to get to uh, hire someone to murder their bosses. <laughs> and this is real. That's a like a ridiculous <laughs> <Rented> comedy. <in. laughs> Do you look through profiles? I want to. Is this site still up? It's probably not up anymore, huh? Rentahitman.com. <laughs> Hitman oh, or us? There is a rentahitman.com. Okay. Is it like eHarmony? Like, do you like, have to you put in all your matches? <laughs> you got to find a good match for yeah, a, an assassin. A, yeah. 
Like no, you have your uh, points of uh, what are the po- the points of compatibility? Uh, you know, I like a clean murder. <laughs> yeah, make <laughs> them suffer a little and yeah. then kill them. Torture. I like. I want some torture in there. <laughs> <laughs> we want a good one last liner. Yeah. The last thing he hears, you know, what are you going to say? Yeah, that's the first thing you got to get. What, yeah. are, what are you going to say when he's dying? And yeah. And they, all their photos are of their ice cold stare that they give before they pull the trigger. So you can kind of get an idea of the last thing they're going to see. Kyle's. I'm just. I'm, <laughs> he's I, already I, I, hired I'm on the one. website. I'm fascinated. <laughs> You're being flagged right now. Yeah. <laughs> What's oh, on man. there? What it's like literally there's a web form to fill out like who you want to kill and why. Okay. And <laughs> really? <laughs> so it's still it's awesome. Still up. Yeah. Man, okay, I wish I, I thought of that. I want to create a website like this and try it out. Yeah. What can we do? <laughs> Let's How go. about have it just someone How like, do you prove that you weren't going to do it? Because like, I want to know who created this. Did they do it? Did they tell the government? We're going to create a fake site. Because, right? Because I don't think the intention was to catch people trying to kill people. It says it was really a cyber security, a cyber test security site. test site. Uh, they didn't really, I don't, I don't know. But it sounds like they weren't really expecting anyone to actually fill anything out. And then someone went and filled it out. And like, oh, crap. <laughs> hmm. But then, yeah, they found out it was real. Oh, well, because like riotstarter.com or something. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. What, what we'll other kind of what other kind of decisions did this person make before <laughs> that? Because this would be a nice reality <laughs> show, you know. Yeah, she was charged and had to plead guilty. It's wild. What's up in duck news? An emotional support duck ran the New York Marathon in custom web sneakers. Wow. Was he? A, I saw this. A good runner. Why did he get to be of all ducks? The picked? duck's name was Wrinkle and has gone viral after her owner shared a video of the feathered sprinter running the race in what appeared to be in a pair of custom web sneakers. Hmm. Was this the one? The, the I think the duck's uh, nipples were uh, taped just so that yeah, so, I, I, no any chafing, right? <laughs> uh, someone said it was the cutest thing they'd ever seen. But how'd cute. the duck do? Ducks don't have nipples. Well, I think it got disqualified because the duck started to fly <laughs> and crap on people's head. Is that real? No. no. I just made that up. <laughs> that was satire. That, I don't recognize satire. <laughs> but if it did fly, I would imagine it would have got uh, disqualified. So it seems like an unfair fight because uh, the duck has really short legs. Yeah. That's true. Well, it has wings. Maybe it should be able to fly. Like I always feel yeah, bad it's allowed to fly. When I'm holding my five-year-old's hand and I'm walking just the normal pace <laughs> and I look down and he's like... <laughs> I'm like, dang. Oh, he didn't actually uh, pay the entry fee, so. Oh. It didn't really count. Sad. Wrinkle the Duck is more than just a beautiful pecking duck. She is a full-grown adult human child. What? What? (laughs) Wrinkle's owner wrote, with a YouTube video, she is fast, she is speed, she is zoom, she is wrinkle, still fast as duck boy. boy. (laughs) Wow. I think she's really (laughs) taken this for everything she can do with it. Wow. All right. Good job. Congratulations to Wrinkle. Uh, so two Canadians tried to steal a furnace, but then they caused a gas leak and passed out. <laughs> <laughs> so they're pulling the furnace off, which causes- They got the, the furnace. The pipe to- I feel tired. You okay. feel tired? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they passed out right where they're still taking it out? <laughs> yeah. Mm. So they were in the middle. Yeah, how, uh, I imagine it very cartoony, like- Pop it off yeah. and they're like, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tony. I think I'm just <laughs> going to lay that? here for a minute. Yeah. We'll get it out, but you want to just lay down for a minute, take a little nap time? <laughs> did you remember to turn off the gas valve? <laughs> of course I did. Let's go. <laughs> it's one It's one skinny guy and one fat guy. You know, We got to make this as cartoony as possible. <laughs> so residents reported an odor of natural gas and the police showed up and there's just two people laying there. <laughs> <laughs> They Not, were released without charges. It yeah, like. that's interesting that they got away with it. I guess it was like a... What? An, uh, what, what was this place? Uh, someone's uh, house? Someone's house, yeah. Because there's obviously nobody well, there. It says the police assumed they were trying to steal the So friends. they didn't really so clear that So maybe they couldn't prove it, no. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they're just... Maybe they're actual professional repairmen, and they didn't want to admit that they had screwed up the repairs so bad, it'd be better that we were... Hey, yeah, while well, we were uh, <laughs> stealing it, yeah. Innocent furniture movers, furnace movers. Would that be hoisted on your own petard? <laughs> I think that would be hoisted on your own petard. By your own petard. Oh, I mean. by, by your own petard. Uh, 
that, that reference that that is in a different our interview show coming up with. Uh, well, I think we've referenced it twice now, haven't we? Have we? Who, who did you just interview yesterday? Thor Ramsey. Thor Ramsey. We thought we talked about. We got into. We talked about it in the Lord of the Rings podcast. And oh, then I wasn't we, there. And then we talked about it with Thor Ramsey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we did a deep dive on that. Hey, an owl flew into an elementary school where the mascot is an owl. Uh, the, this teacher filmed this video. The children had already left, but this bird just flew into the room and it landed on a book titled Nature's Show Offs. No. Nope. That's a smart owl. Hmm. Not just why. That's a wise, a wise acre of an owl. Uh, it was unclear how the owl got into the building, but uh, I just love that. He, he landed on the book Nature's Show Offs. That is pretty huh? funny. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Good job, owl. I like it. Yeah, yeah. What he, I think he pulled out a uh, uh, lollipop, started trying to figure out how long it takes to get to the center. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. This That's owl classic, is that uh, smart. Do you know that commercial reference, Kyle, at your age? They've been playing it again. Oh, no, uh, it's back. Recently, yeah, which was like awesome because that was... How many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie I know pop? that one. There you go. Just checking. <laughs> they played it when I was a kid, too. They, they, that one has never really gone out of style. Classic. I'm yeah. still trying to figure out how you're hoisted on your own petard. I guess hoist means lifted, so it's like your bomb blows you up and you fly you, up. You get hoisted by it? Yeah. Hoist. I always like that word. What about possum news? What's in what the possum this? news? This one's me. New Zealand woman held hostage by a possum. The University of Otago postgraduate mm-hmm. student said she was unpacking her car at her home in Dundin's yeah. Northeast Valley when she felt something run up her leg. <laughs> I pulled it off me, thinking it was a cat, and then it's I saw it was a possum. The woman told the Otago Daily Times <laughs> Wow, that's weird. Possum just ran up just her ran leg. Just ran right up her leg. At mating season. The woman <laughs> said she fled into her house, and every time she tried to go outside, the possum would reappear and charge it. <laughs> well, she had some kind of charge like, right at her. She she had some kind of like uh, cologne on or perfume that this possum. This is the plot of Stephen King's Cujo, <laughs> but with a possum. <laughs> there you go. And Sarge- this is the cute New, uh, New Zealand possums. They're way cuter. Are they? Yeah. New Zealand are cute. So there's different kinds. So. Yeah, they have a whole different possum over in New Zealand oh, and Australia. Okay. Yeah. Do they? But they're really like, uh, they have, like, uh, they oh. pay people to kill them because there's so many of them. Oh, really? They almost look like a bat or something. Mm-hmm. They're cute. But uh, I like this. Sergeant Craig Dennison, the officer that arrived at the woman's house, was speaking her through a window when the possum jumped up on his leg. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets locked inside. <laughs> and he stunned the possum with a beam of his flashlight, and the animal was placed in a box with some dried pet food. Now, does that stun mean click? Ah, it's so bright. Or clunk, stun. Stun with the beam of his flashlight. Oh, the beam, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, they're, they're guessing, they theorized that the animal may have been formerly kept as a pet or just been oh. uh, recently separated from its mother. Now, what I find sad is I want a possum, and they they drove this thing way out into the middle of the, fo- the forest and let it go. It's like you they should have just it. sent it to me. If anybody has a possum and you would like to mail it to us, please let I us know. I want a possum. <laughs> yeah. drive it here. If a possum runs up your leg, mail it to Ethan. Yeah, take it as yeah. a sign. It wa- it's meant to be your child. It's meant to be. So, a uh, skier was spared slaughter after water slide adventure in Brazil. <laughs> So it's a two-year-old steer escaped a from news. his cattle farm and it made his way up to the neighboring uh, Club de Campo where the Club. animal ended up climbing to the top of the water slide at the pool. It was all caught on video. And uh, he slid like halfway down the slide. Oh, so he was going to be killed. Yeah, he was like going to be hamburger. And they were like, you know what? He was going to be a slider. Now. Yeah. But then, yeah, he gonna be- slid down halfway down the slide and like became like a local celebrity. So then the farmer's like, I like the farmer's quote here. Uh, I looked to see if he had any injuries, but he's fine. He'll stay here because of the people. It sounds like a, like a uh, interpreter. Yeah. Uh, the people want to know where he is. He's been the attraction. Everyone wants to know. We want to take him to the club. <laughs> the farmer told the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely run through Google Translate. <laughs> yeah. We want to take him to the club. We will take him Everybody to the club. Everybody party party up in the club. Uh, the, st- the steer has now been to Toboga, Taboga, which means slide. Oh. It's really obvious name. Uh-huh. They like call it. him Slide. That's a cool name. <laughs> that is a cool name. 
It's off slide. Slide. It's like something someone would have been been named in like Saved by the Bell or something. Yeah, or like in the 80s, there was always like Slade. Slade yeah. was a cool name. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like that mixture of slide and blade. Well, I guess I'll do this last one. This is for you, California Kyle. Mission assembles world's longest line of socks. <laughs> wow. This record really sucks. 80,000 socks for the homeless. I mean, tie at, least, them together. at least it's for a good purpose, I guess. Hmm. Uh, over seven miles of socks. See, this is one, this record, the... <laughs> <laughs> this record falls under the category of like anybody could do this right but not any everybody is that stupid to waste that much time doing that yeah i mean I, it's a charity it's not stupid but they could have just given them to the homeless i don't know they didn't need to do that that is pretty stupid raising money that way like, if i was poor i'd be like nah where did this money come from <laughs> the sock was all the sockless <laughs> the sockless homeless guys no, I want are like, real money. can we get those socks right now it's cold Hold on, we got to tie them <laughs> together in 7.8 7. miles across the state, and then we'll get them to you. I don't even think they were tied together. They're just lying next to each oh, other. Oh, they're just lying there? That, I think they Wait, let been. me look. Because yeah, I'm wondering if they're going to be all stretched and weird. What? They're like on clothes, like oh, a clothesline. Clothes line. What? That's not even like a line of... Su- That's just a long rope. Clothes That's just a long rope. Yeah. Ugh. What's the standards? How close together do they have to be? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if I was homeless, I would reject this. This garbage. <laughs> yeah. This came from Guinness World Records. I don't want them. I'll go sockless. Uh, band socks. Hey, um, it's almost Christmas. It is. And I want to open a Christmas present. Oh, uh, yeah. I always like Christmas presents. Whoa. I'm a big fan of Christmas presents. Well, Santa Claus is here, so I uh, sent you guys gifts, but I made you wait. Okay. Until Christmas. Good. Delayed gratification. I yeah. even said on here, don't open until I arrive, but my went, if my plane had went down in fire flames, you would have had to wait until, until Christmas. Christmas to open these. Oh, we're these, glad that didn't happen then. Why don't we Did. each open one? Now, this right. could be like a supervillain plot. Yes. <laughs> could be. He might be trying to kill us right now. We're not 100% he might get sure. Hoisted by his own guitar. Why does Christmas without. Put that on there before you open it. I have to put the bow on before you I open it. You got to put the bow on there. Or Ethan, pick one out there. This better not be bees. Uh, murder bees. Ooh. Murder hornets. Murder hornets. There you go. No, murder bees. I couldn't afford the hornets. Uh. Okay. All right. I got a bow on it now. Why does All it right. stick? And now I'm going to... Uh, there we go. Mine sticks. And there is an opening pat tab in the back, so... Uh, I ruined the tab. Ooh, I got a good one here. Are you opening your own Christmas present? Oh, yeah. Actually, some of this stuff is mine. Oh, okay. I didn't. Uh, I didn't right. want to carry it on the airport. This oh, is man, comics. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes comics nowadays? <laughs> Comic books. Wait a minute. I got sent my own. Bears want to kill you by Ethan Nicole. That's a good gift, though. That's wow. A great gift. You know what you could do gift. with that? You could sign that and give it back to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it seems like is Indian giving? Am I allowed to say that? Okay. Sure. I'll, I give you permission. Sham- oh yeah, you, you're our resident Indian. I've got Staunch Ambition, which is the sci-fi one. Uh, a couple of them in here. A couple of those staunches. That's the new remastered 128-page graphic Remaster. novel season one. Inferno City Firehouse. Oh, yeah, I think I got that one, too. Did you get that one? All right. Yeah. Awesome. And it's signed. That's such a great cover. By Blau. That's by, that covers by Clayton Crane, who works on Spider. I mean, he's huge. I was a big fan of his, and I happened to. He's a real dude. He, I hooked up with him on, on two uh, covers, and that guy's probably one of the best working artists huh. today. He's nice. huge. Yeah, I love um, the style. And uh, is that like pencils or? Erwin looks- Arosa is my interior artist, and he's a, he's a good Christian guy, too. He's in the mm. Philippines. I, and he the first piece of art I've ever seen Erwin do was. Uh, like this light coming through stained glass window in a, um, like a church, beautiful church, you know, uh, Catholic like church. Mm-hmm. And he, you can see his style is yeah, just epic. Beautiful. And for true stories, this I wanted like it to be sketchbook. gritty. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. It's really well done. So yeah. I wanted to shout out Erwin Arosa because uh, he's not only like an amazing talent, but he's just the nicest guy in the world. Yeah, wow. That's amazing. I mean. Uh, yeah. Also, look, I got book one of Axe Cop. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you know what you could do with that? <laughs> <laughs> you could sign shine that. Up, shine I don't, up real nice. I don't think you understand sideways. the human concept of gift giving. Yeah. <laughs> look at this book. I got another staunch Another ambition. one for Ethan to sign. <laughs> what the? 
I was reading this on the uh, air, the flight over, and uh, I got halfway through, and I'm a huge Chester, Chesterton fan, so I'm just enjoying it tremendously. Awesome. So, and then axebearstore.com. You want to get in my books for Christmas? We got posters. Oh, man. Oh, posters. They've been dinged up a little. Do you want us to sign this and give it back to you? <laughs> <laughs> Another Clayton Crane. As this, is, this is the guy who nice. did the cover to the uh, Infernal cool. City Firehouse. All right. Now, I know you and I are both a huge fan. Did you look at me when you said that? Huge fans. You're not a huge fan. Oh, nice. Huge fans. Yeah. Um, uh, J.A. Defoy drew this for me. It was an idea I had, and then I colored it. I wind. I usually wind up coloring. Okay. So I use, I'm a slow artist doing uh, pencils yeah. and all that. So it's for the audio listeners, it's it's Spider Man playing uh, basketball with the incredible Nightcrawler. Catholic. This is so cool. This is how staunch ambition started. Okay. So this Looks is like my nudity. Yeah, nudity there's there. no sexual organs. This is a oh, okay. uh, genetically engineered worker clone that's mixed between human and animal with no sexual organs. Azarus. Right. So an idealized yeah utopian Sounds vision like a, of the world. Sounds like and a liberal. Yeah, that's part of the story, but uh, this uh, the energy going around him should is represents like your spirit or your thoughts. Mm. So this it. is all my work here. Okay, um, cool. And then I know I love a good sci-fi man. This looks awesome. Oh, here you like this. You guys like dragons, so you guys everybody okay. can pick whatever poster. I feel like you're. I didn't know that they actually experiment. fought dragons in uh, Detroit. Yeah. yeah, we do. It wow. says, okay. and it says a serious look. Inside the lives of real Detroit firefighters, <laughs> and, they're, and they're blasting a dragon. So that is a serious look. <laughs> and then there, ah, oh, this is this is wonderful. What's that? One this of the is... greatest shows ever made. Oh, Avatar: The Last Avatar. Airbender. Yeah, love this that show. Great. Hopefully, they don't. Yeah, you screw guys got to get that on the screen. I'm sure we can scan them or whatever. But that's that's awesome. Yeah, one of nice. my favorite. I'm going to get a chest tattoo of this now. Detroit. Okay, there's another thing that happened in Detroit. That's a photograph of uh, firefighters oh, in Detroit. An actual photograph. It's, yeah. Cool. That's pretty cool. Taking over yeah. a whole bunch of skyscrapers. Well, this is awesome, man. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You. And uh, we'll sign all these and get them back to you shortly. <laughs> so, if people <laughs> want to check out your comments, no. where should we uh, send them? Uh, they can go to staunchambition.com um, or Inferno City Firehouse, which is uh, I think. Weebly and something at the end, but I have cityfirehouse.weebly.com. Yeah, these there you safe, go. Uh, so, if there are any warnings you need to give grandparents or parents, they're like, I'm going to get these for my kids. Oh, the firefighter book is uh, deals with um, PTSD and depression and suicide. It's uh, it's some real stuff. Those are true stories. Cool. And and dragons. Twenty twenty percent of the profits for that book go to people struggling with PTSD or depression, and. I didn't know what I was going to write, but I just knew I needed to write something for, about firefighters. My grandfather was a Detroit firefighter for 26 years, and I lived with Detroit firefighter and did ride-alongs with him. But the, the firefighter that I lived with for, year, for years, uh, I found out that he had shot himself. Mm. And so when I first started doing the research, that was one of the th first things I found out. And, of course, that really took me in a certain direction with the story content. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's not you – know, the true stories in the firefighters is ultimately about hope, mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily for little kids. Right. Um, but then uh, the – I would say the staunch ambitions, you know, it's kind of like a Marvel movie. You know, it's got okay. – you know, it's at nothing gratuitous in it. All right. Lots of gay characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very diverse. <laughs> okay. In the future, I, like the, the weirdos are straight people, so. Okay. <laughs> I like it. There you go. <laughs> hey, we're going to play a game. Hello, please purchase things from our store. We make stuff, you we buy it. We make things, you buy things. There is B on thing. Oh, look. Fantastic product. B. Very Tumblr. shiny. Great cost. Excellent quality. Mmm. You buy now. Buy now. Shop.babylonb.com. Repeat. Purchase Tumblr today. Name that Christian rock lyric. Is it a real lyric? And if so, who wrote it? <coughs> or is it completely you made up? guess if it's made up. But Ooh. you have to guess who wrote it. Is Adam here? Uh, I think... Uh, oh, he's not no, here. No, he's that's not. Right. He's out. He's uh, visiting family. Yeah, that's right. For the holiday. So Bettina is going to be uh, telling okay. us the uh, answers. Okay. Our first one is... Uh, see you... <laughs> <laughs> See, right. you're one fry short of a happy meal. You are incomplete by your own deceit. Are these mostly Christian rap lyrics? I don't know. I'm going to say that um, this one is real. Okay, but what band? Yeah, I'm going to go real. 
Yeah, I'm That's guessing it's fun. real. I'm guessing it's real too, but I have no idea what band. Uh, KJ52. Thousand Foot Crunch. <laughs> That's uh, that's actually one you of the things Google. I like to come up with is new phrases like, you know, you, lights are on, but nobody's home and stuff. And I like this one. You're one fry short of half a meal. And incomplete by your girl. Do you have a guess scene? on what band it would, it would be? Oh. Karma. Uh, I'm thinking Karma, but I'm thinking fry short of half a meal. That's, yeah, that's yeah. beneath Karma. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. No I, guess? That's, it sounds like rap. Or you could say fake. Is it rap? But I don't He's know. He's got to throw an idea out there. P.O.D. I don't know. Okay. All right. Definitely not. Patina? The answer is FFH Big Fish. I don't know. FFH heard. Big Fish. <sighs> but we were right that it was That's real. That's not real Big Fish. It's FFH Big Fish. Okay. I don't know. I real Big Fish isn't Christian, man. Oh. All right. Make love great again. Fight for it till the end. Don't let the darkness in. Make love great again. Yes. All right. Hope that's not real. Make love great again. <laughs> um, love great. Who, is that a country song? Make love great again. I don't try to think of how you'd say that. And make love great again. How about, uh, again. yeah, that sounds. All right, this is. How about audio adrenaline? I, I don't know. Audio adrenaline? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, make love great again? Ooh. And does it make love great again or make love great again? Make Twyla, love again. Twyla, <laughs> Twyla Paris. I am going to say it is real and it is Striper. I'm going to say it's fake. All right, Kyle, you're right. Striper. Whoa, what? what? I, know, I know that Great. song. You knew that one, huh? Ouch. That's right. why I let you guys guess for. They'd start singing praise in a whole new way. Yeah, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Cowabunga, yeah, dude. Cowabunga, Luya. Oh, pow. Cowabunga, Luya, dude. Oh. <laughs> this is cr- supposed to be all Christian music? This is no. real. They is this real? This is real. It's, it's the, it's called the cartoon song or something. I think if that's oh, what this is from. Oh, that's forget actually who wrote a pretty it. good song though, right? I think so. Who, who wrote that? Oh, I forget. Uh, but that is actually pretty fun. That's a fun song. Who the heck was that song by? Why do I not remember? Oh, I'm gonna kick punk myself. Band or something? No, one hit like, wonder. No, it was like a pretty well known. Supertones. We just have to guess fast because it's going to take forever to get through this. We always can cut them. The bee, the bees, <laughs> the Bee Gees. It was uh, the bees. T Bone. Goodness gracious! I mean, it's going to kill me. I, I don't MXPX. know. PX. It, it's a uh, tasty snacks. I don't know. The cartoon. You want a hint? Yeah. Stars with a C. Cademan's call. No. Creed. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I don't remember. Frick. Cowabunga, Luya. Frick. You give up? Yeah, I give up. Chris Rice. That's Carter. right. Oh. That's a guy. I kept wanting to say uh, Shane and Shane, and I'm like, that's not right. They didn't write that song. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hitler, Napoleon, Pharaoh, Capone, tormented and vexed and grieved, waiting for their judgment from the throne. Is that by T-Bone? I don't know. I don't know. I, so I, th- these are all actual lyrics? I thought it was... Some, some may be Some fake. might be made okay. up. So that's what I, was, that's what I thought. You can guess what you think it's made up. All right, <sighs> and if they were made up, they were made up by Adam Yenzer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know him, so. Fake. Uh, You're going for fake? Yeah. That sounds like a, it's kind of cool, but probably from a book or something. I'm, I'll say fake. I'm metagaming it and saying he has to have a fake come up at some point. I'm going to say fake. Yeah, it's too much. He just all put right. all this. But I kind of think it's real. <laughs> what oh, is there? Two, two fakes and a T-bone. I'm a little disappointed. This is Carmen, you guys. Oh, oh, oh wow. Man. <laughs> what yeah. a fail. In shame. In shame. Does it say what song it's from? The Champion. The Champion. Oh, that's from The Champion? Wow. wow. Well, I'm, Posers, glad, I'm glad I didn't yeah. know that one. I know more about the, like, aura of yeah, Carmen than actually the, yeah. the yeah. songs. Yeah, me too. Okay, we snack on mana all day, and we sure had a winner last night for dinner, flaming mana souffle. <laughs> that's fake I mana uh, I guess we snack on mana it. all day who's singing about that isn't there a band called Tasty Snacks there is but they didn't write about snacks that was just the name of the band but it's just funny if, that, if they had did because I, I know I'm just throwing <laughs> we sure had a winner last night for dinner <laughs> <laughs> fake that's fake. fake I'm just going to keep saying fake I'm until I get that's got to be fake the Tasty Snacks this is Keith Green. So you want to go back to Egypt? Oh, okay. yeah. he's so good, dude. Hmm. I'm, uh, I'm, being really? exposed, I'm being exposed as a poser here. <laughs> Total poser. I am totally. Keith Green. 
Okay. Uh, all right. I think it's your turn. Uh, and we may never know why or find the right answer for why you let grandma die or <laughs> made childhood <laughs> cancer, but it's in your hands. It's all in your hands. I want to clarify that I am not laughing about childhood cancer. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> But th this is like typical Christian lyrics. Yeah, they, have, yeah. they have to mention something really specific in an yeah. awkward way instead of just being poetic. <laughs> Why you would let grandma die? I mean, it, you know, that's uh, grandma had a long life. So what's what's the big trauma there? <laughs> it's like I'm going to say real and Stephen Curtis Chapman. <laughs> Ooh, really? That's a good. That's a good guess. And you may never know. Why. Um, I'll go real and. Uh, <laughs> Project 86. I'm just throwing out. There. No, it's not, but that's funny. I go fake. <laughs> it is made up by Mr. Yenzer. That's an end yeah. Yenzer. <laughs> I didn't think he'd go there. Childhood cancer. <laughs> that wow. should have been the tip off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when the toast is burned and all the milk has turned and Captain Crunch is waving farewell, they don't serve breakfast in home. Oh. We know. We, we, yeah. we, we reviewed That's a great this song. Yeah, that's the real and uh, Newsboys. Newsboys. Boys, right. Well it. done. Newsboys breakfast. And Steve Taylor is often doing a lot of their lyrics like this. Mm. Great lyrics. And mm. I'm a big Steve Taylor fan. He's, okay. he's a lot of the times he's behind the scenes, but. I love you, Jesus. I want you to walk with me. I'll take good care of you, baby. Call you my baby, baby. <laughs> is that from South Park? I'm going to say fake. <laughs> yeah, it's a parody or something. <laughs> Faith. Yeah, that's a good guess. What was that? What was his Cartman's band? Plus one. Faith plus, that faith was plus good. one. Yeah. Faith that plus. Was We're going to say it's Faith plus one. That is correct. Well done, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> good call. All right, what do we got next? Me. So heaven meets earth like a sloppy wet kiss. <laughs> that's a classic. John Mark McMillan. Mm. I wouldn't have known his name, but yeah. I don't. That is correct. Boom. Uh, Jesus, you're the most. You saved the meek. You... <laughs> 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 Jesus, you're the most. You save the meek. You appear. <laughs> you appear you can't say it. <laughs> Jesus, you're the most. You save the meek. You appear on toast, <laughs> making the Father proud and the Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm going to say this fake. Is Adam Yenser. Adam Yenser. <laughs> what? That needs to be real, man. Appearing on toast. <laughs> are you going to go real then? Or are you going to no. go fake? Okay, we're all saying fake. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like cancer toast. Yeah. Got to be Adam. <laughs> I'll wash your feet as you spit in my face. Oh, he spits in your face. That's uh, probably real. Uh, real. Yeah, it feels real. That's Super real. Tones. Super dumb. <laughs> Demon Hunter. Uh, David Zafario. I don't know. It is Skillet. Hey, you. I love your soul. Skillet. Hey, you. Get out of my car. First one, you played Mozart or something lovely like that. Second one, you play that Petra or that Megadeth. Sounds like a rap lyric. I'm going to say that. real and There's... Carmen? Nothing Carmen? Oh, yeah, that could be Carmen. Mm -hmm. it sounds like his speed. I got nothing. Uh, I'm just I'm just trying to think of Christian rappers I know that I can think of. I don't know any of them. KJ52, DC Talk. Soul. I'm stumped. Uh, Lecrae. What's that soul band? Soul something. Soul. I forgot. Band. They're indie. No, I, 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 I listen to too many indie Christian bands. Yeah. Uh, Carmen. That's sure, Carmen. Cool. No. It's good. Yeah. Be Carmen. All right. That is Audio Adrenaline. What? The Houseplant song. Oh, yeah. Audio Adrenaline. Oh, I, I know, know that, that song, too. I wasn't big into Audio A. All right. Uh, Jesus reigns supreme. That's how my team comes through. And then all of a sudden, these wannabe hard dudes from South Park walked up just smacking, just talking smack, too, and the Smurfs backed them up. I guess they was... Just a crew. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, uh, it sounds too weird to be made up to me. Daniel's like, son family. I'm just like naming bands I remember now. Is that also <laughs> from the cartoon song, the Chris Reyes? I don't know. I'm on the hooks, man. I can't even think of any Christian music. <laughs> KJ52, real. I'm going to keep guessing KJ52. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guess? Uh, Kevin yeah. Max. Michael W. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's right. KJ52. Yeah! Wow! Two Network. Right. I had no idea. I was completely guessing. Rock. <laughs> he had these really weird, like, raps about, like, Mountain Dew and stuff, so I just figured. Oh, really? 
All right. <clears throat> Sit, stay, don't beg. Stop licking my oh, hands. Oh, I know this one. That's real? Fake. Oh, yeah. No, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, PFR, one of the best. Real this PFR. Is, uh, Goldie's sure. Last Day. What's you know what PFR stand? You don't know PFR? Harry Fellowship. I don't know PFR. Well, their original name was Pray for Rain, but it was oh. taken, so they had to change it to PFR. Oh, my gosh. PFR, Goldie's Last Day. This is this is a great album to start with. And uh, this is about their dog. It's, it's comical, but it's serious because it's about mm. their dog dying. Hmm. Goldie's last day. It's so it's it's not your typical Christian music, so you'll mm. like it. So. Okay, that was wrong. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. After all that, no, that's made up. What one lyric was off? And finally, my turn. I believe in evolution. Ask me no questions. I'll tell you no lies. It's the only possible solution. Big Bang fiction that we factualize. Oh, is this Jeff Moore in a distance? Oh, yeah, it might be. Know. Don't lie the science Don't they have guy? a song about They have some song about Your the uncle religion. swinging from the trees. Yeah. Your uncle was a monkey. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if Jeff. that's from this. I'm going to go Jeff Moore in the distance. That's what I'm doing. Real. Very good. Craig's brother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a hipster. <laughs> that was it? That was Evolution it. Evolution redefined. <laughs> nice. Good job. Who won? Anybody keep scoring? I don't think, <laughs> no. I think we were just... It, I think we all lost. On there, yeah. Yeah. I think everyone lost, even the watchers. The I, think, I think it was probably lost. even because whenever somebody knew it, then we all went, yeah, that one. Really, Christianity lost. <laughs> Christianity lost. <laughs> over and over. But the last will be first, so it's good. That's it. All right, let's do some hate mail. You know what the worst thing in the world is? It's when you're laughing at something and really enjoying it, and you're not paying any money for it. That sucks. You feel really guilty. You're like, man, there's all these people that are like do, giving their lives to making this stuff and, you know, that's their whole job and I didn't even give them any money for it. Now you can give us money. You can become a Babylon Bee subscriber and ease that guilty conscience. Go to babylonbee.com slash plans and for a limited time, you can insert the promo code podcast and you get 10% off. It's not 7%, it's not 8%, it's not 9%. It's not 11%. It's not 12%. It is 10% off your subscription. So go to babylonb.com slash plants and subscribe. That's what enables us to continue making all the amazing content that you enjoy 24-7 right into your brain. I really miss Adam Ford. All right, we get some hate mail from John. And John emailed us and said, uh, you, you get to read this hate mail, actually, uh, Brian. Oh, really? Message, your jokes are really bad. And candidly, your jokes are so, so bad, they managed to conflict with conservative theology. You are lost. You are in need of rebuke. You're so far from funny, you can't tell, you can't even tell how far from funny you are. I... S <laughs> what is this? I solemnly... The Solomon. Uh, Solomon. Oh, yeah. the Solomon half-mass joke in a trash cheap shot that inflames and fails at humor outside of the context. Do self-righteous, supposedly Christian-centered trolling. You have lost your way. You are beloved by racists all over the country. Congratulations, you... H. Effing H. <laughs> and did he just fall it just ends there well i think no our, period. our contact form ends at like 250 characters or something so maybe he pasted something <laughs> in and still didn't realize typing. It he's off. probably still <laughs> typing right now doesn't realize it some say on a cold night you good. can still hear the sound of his <laughs> keyboard <laughs> exactly <laughs> wow this guy's got the clarity of a i did not eagle. know that there was conservative theology well yeah like concert yeah like not politically. orthodox theology, yeah. Okay, so theology. Progressive theologians, conservative theology. Okay, I thought he was saying like... Conservative theology. Conservative politics have theology, man. You could say conservative theology, you could just say biblical theology. Oh. Yeah. Historical, I don't know. Actually Christian. Hey, we have one more hate mail here. I'm Sleepy J. You should chill with the Rittenhouse memes. This isn't a good look for a Christian satire page. <laughs> All right, well, we'll chill. I always... People say not a good look. Not a good look, That's man. like a tell. Yeah. You know, something about the way they think and the way like, they just, I don't, I yeah, don't like trust your whole, people if, that say that. Like your whole worldview is informed by what other yeah. people think. I don't know. Like it doesn't matter what's true. It's just not a good look, bro. It's not a good look. It's fine. It's just not a good look. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to move into our subscriber lounge now. We're going to ask Brian the 10 questions. We've got some love mail and we've got bonus hate mail, which I think is even better than the hate mail we just read. Oh, we got some good stuff. Yeah. We got some awesome Delicious. bonus hate mail. Next time we should do Christian uh, Christian lyric or secular love song lyric. Yeah. Ooh, good one. Have you ever seen that quiz online that's uh, it's 
it's heavy metal lyric or psalm or, or from the oh, old, or from the Old Testament. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, we should do that live here sometime. Too. Well, heavy metal yeah. has a, a fascination with religion. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's hilarious. It's like and the other one was uh, that they have is name of IKEA furniture or heavy metal band name. <laughs> 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 and it's so hard to tell, man. <laughs> we'll do it live on the show one oh, of yeah. these times. Write those down, Adam Yenzer. Thanks for joining us, everybody. And uh, subscribe at babylonbee.com slash plans or smash that join button if you're on YouTube and you can join us in the subscriber lounge. Yeah, and get Brian Lau's comics, staunchambition.com. Remember, only you can save the world. I'm holding up a poster of Amen. Avatar. If oh. you're on okay. audio. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Coming up next for Babylon B subscribers. Is cereal just breakfast soup? Well, I pulled the chair out from <laughs> my friend and he went to go sit down, fell, and everybody laughed. And she goes, it's not funny unless everybody laughs. Kyle Man is like the fifth funniest kid in your youth group if the fifth funniest kid in your youth group got retweeted by the President of the United States. <laughs> Kristen Oren, she's been so pleasant to work with. Professional, mm -hmm. it's it's always good to find a good editor. MC Escher's work, I mean, that guy was beyond just great artists. Like, oh wow, look at the Mona Lisa, you know, mm -hmm. you painted a face. Wondering what they'll say next? The rest of this podcast is in our super exclusive premium subscriber lounge. Go to BabylonB.com slash plans for full length ad free podcasts. Kyle and Ethan would like to thank Seth Dillon for paying the bills. Adam Ford for creating their job. The other writers for tirelessly pitching headlines, the subscribers and you, the listener. Until next time, this is Dave D'Andrea, the voice of the Babylon Bee. 